Uh, so today, you know, we're, we're doing some field testing. Uh, this, this is basically the culmination of a series of work that we've been performing for the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Energy Technology Office, proving out the capability of robotic systems to uh, autonomously deliver and install PV modules for utility scale solar plants. Solar construction today is, is still conducted in a very manual manner. It's a lot of heavy lifting with people in arid conditions, often really extreme temperatures, either really hot or in some cases actually really cold as well. These people are out in a field lifting modules that weigh anywhere in the neighborhood of you know, 75 pounds up to 80 pounds apiece. Uh, in a current state, there's roughly 200,000 people that perform this work today, uh, but that population's actually been on about a 5% decline year over year for the past five to six years. The market overall is graduating from plant sizes that are in the 100 megawatt range up to gigawatt range. In doing that, we're just going to need more and more labor. We have cameras to identify, here's the panel, here's where it needs to go. And then the arm autonomously picks up the panel using a vacuum system and then places it approximately where the worker who is going to do the clamping needs it to be. But then the arm goes into a special mode where the person clamping the panel can easily move that panel however they need in order to align it into the clamps and attach it to the clamps. And so it's very intuitive because wherever that operator moves that panel, if they let go, it just stays wherever they wanted it. One, speed of installation. You can install an entire plant faster. Two, it requires uh, less labor workforce. And three, quality. Um, and with the OAMP system, we can dramatically increase the speed of uh, solar plant installation such that a two-year project might be 18 months instead because we are in an unstructured environment. Computer vision is really important to know where everything is in your environment at all times to ensure not only successful manipulation of modules, but also safe manipulation of modules. There are a couple of ways that we're ensuring that the laborers are working alongside our system are safe. One of the ways that we do that is by using safety sensors and they detect when humans or say other objects generically get too close to the system. Additionally, we do have uh, laborers that are supporting putting the modules into the clamps and the way that we're doing that is through um, a manipulation mode called gravity compensation. Uh, we don't allow full workspace usage of the arm at this time and we actually slow the arm down to ensure we're keeping that laborer safe at all times. Times. Continuing the growth and adoption of uh, sustainability and key energy, you know, the continued focus in electrification, a lot of efforts into fuel cell development right now and where things can go long term. You know, we're certainly excited, you know, to work and partner with uh, Sarcos and continuing to push the envelope for engineering and development in these areas.